Today we'll be taking a quick tour of the new Touch Point of Sale interface by Bookstore Manager software. Uh, it has a lot of advantages. Uh, it is designed for stores that are carrying more gift items. Uh, a lot of our stores are carrying more gifts in their stores now. They don't always have barcodes. Uh, you might have other gift items that are too small for barcodes. So with this new point of sale interface, it allows you to set up buttons for those items to ring those up really easily. Uh, so today we're going to go through uh, it's, and show you kind of how it's fully integrated in with Bookstore Manager. Uh, it is touchscreen driven uh, and it's also very easy to customize. So what I want to do is demo this screen here. This is the new point of sale interface screen with the touch point of sale interface. So at the bottom you can see all your different buttons that you have access to. Now these items can be set up in multiple different ways. You can set up buttons as items. So when I click a button it's going to ring up an item. So right here if I click on Jesus Calling it's going to ring up that item. You can also set up a button to do a uh, discount. So maybe I want to do a 40% discount on that item. I can just come down here, click on my discount button, tell it why I'm doing a discount, and it'll ring up a discount. You can also set up buttons to be departments. So if I wanted to do $5 to book of the week, I can do $5 and it'll ring, up, ring it up to that particular department. Um, you can also, from this, set up multiple menus. Uh, an example would be if I had different gift items like necklaces or jewelry. I can click on my gifts and it'll jump and give me other menu options that I have available. So necklaces, rings, bracelets, or other. So if I wanted to go to all my different necklaces, I can click on that, access all the different bracelets, I can do that, and it makes those items very easy to uh, scan. It helps keep your inventory numbers correct because they can actually just go choose the right item. Now you can also uh, modify different items. So if I wanted to go in and click on modify, I can come down here and choose Jesus Calling, and I can delete it. You can also use that same modify if you want to apply a discount. So I click modify, choose on modify, and I can come down here and I say a dollar discount. I can do a percentage off discount, or I can sell it at a particular amount. Uh, so it gives you all those capabilities as well. Now, just because you're using this new interface does not mean you've lost functionality that you used to have with our existing point of sale. Because this field right here, you can still scan any barcode that you used to scan. So I just scan the barcode and ring that item up. If you do use the $5 and do a department sale to 10. So those type of functions still will work. Now you also have other button options that you have. If I want to do a $5 department sale, I can do $5, click on department sale, and you can go and choose the appropriate department. Maybe it's for a gift. And so you can do department sales right there um, from that same screen. Uh, so that's kind of the main menu. Uh, if you're doing more of a cafe environment, you can set up uh, full drink menus. So I can click on drinks and show all the different drinks that you have. Uh, if I want to set up a breakfast menu, you can set up a full breakfast menu. So if you do have a cafe, it will support it for a cafe as well um, or a bookstore, just depending on how you're using the software. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you the subtotal screen. So if I go over here and click on subtotal, this screen is broken down in the top left corner you have all the information about this particular transaction so it shows you amount due, any discounts that are replied uh, you also in the down left corner have all of your, your existing function keys so if you wanted to place it on hold maybe they forgot their wallet you can do that you also have a global tax change so if you wanted to do a tax exempt you can do that on the run uh, you can also do a gift receipt if you wanted to so just choose miscellaneous print that gift receipt and then it would print your gift receipt for you. Um, you have a memo field uh, that will automatically come up depending on how you have it function, or I'm sorry, how you have it configured. Uh, down the middle, you have all of your different keys that you have. So you can do a cash transaction, credit card, house charge. If you wanted to do a special ministry, you can set up a button for that or gift card. So all that's right down the middle. You have a full functioning 10 key at the top right that you can use. And so if I wanted to do $20 and choose cash, I could do that. Or let's say they're paying with a 50 since this transaction is $36.99. You do have access to your quick cash keys. So you can do next dollar, which you would just go to the next dollar owed, 5, 10, 20, 50, or 100. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and click on the $50 bill. Uh, if you happen to use this for a cafe, you would put in a number there. Most people won't have that screen uh, pop up. 
And so then uh, you would be giving, given the change due screen. So just give them their change and you're done with that transaction. Okay, so that is kind of the front end. So now what I'd like to do is kind of show you the back end and how easy it is to set up a new button. So I'm gonna go, in, go ahead and go into configure. I'm gonna create a menu and I pull up my main menu. Okay, so now if I wanted to create a new item or a new button, I just find a button that I wanna use, click on it, type in a description, let's say it's for a wooden cross and so then I can choose a color. Uh, as you notice, you have a lot of different color uh, options in here. Uh, then you get to choose the type. So this again is where you can choose coupon, a department sale, an item, if it's just a modifier, or a, maybe I wanna to go to another menu. Uh, you do have up to 99 different menus that you can customize. Uh, so a lot of flexibility there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and look up an item. So I'm gonna look up my item. I'm gonna choose my item and I'm gonna transfer it over. And then once I hit OK, that's how easy it is to create an item. Well, maybe I decide, well, that's not really where I want that button. So I click on it. I can choose on Move. Click the button where I want to move it, and it moves it down to that button. So it's very easy to create a button, very easy to move a button. If I wanted to swap two buttons, maybe I'm trying to reorganize my menu. I can click on that, choose on Move. Click what button I want to move, and it'll move that. Or if I want to move it back, Again, just click on move, move it, and it'll swap it. So it makes reorganizing your menus very easy as well. Now you're also given the option, uh, if you want to clear a button, you can just simply close, uh, click on it, choose clear. It'll say, are you wanting to clear this? If you click yes, it'll clear it. If you click no, it's not going to clear that. Um, so that's how easy it is to set up an item or set up a menu. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. Now on this, you can also change all your different colors for the different buttons, so everything is customizable. If you want your cash keys to be orange, you could do that. So you get to choose all the different colors uh, that you want to do. Um, so now what I wanna do, uh, oh, one addition. Uh, if you do happen to use this for a cafe uh, environment or a restaurant type environment, um, you can do an add-on to do a kitchen printer. So it'll allow you to print information directly to the kitchen uh, if you want to do that, uh, right when you ring up the transaction, they're going to be able to start prepping that right then. Um, so what I want to do now is go over some frequently asked questions. Uh, we've been selling this for a couple of months. We've probably had over 50 stores take advantage of this new enhancement. Uh, so I want to answer some questions that we've had uh, that have come up. Uh, first of all, is there a monthly fee? No, there is not a monthly fee. Um, so once you purchase the touch point of sale interface, you get it. There's no monthly fee, uh, ongoing monthly fee for that at all. Do I have to upgrade all my monitors to touch screens? No, you do not. Um, today I was demoing this using a keyboard and mouse. Uh, so it can function with what you have now. You do not have to upgrade all your monitors. Uh, if you have touch screen monitors, it works great with those. Uh, those have dropped tremendously in price. So what I always suggest is as your monitors start to die, start replacing those with touch screen monitors, uh, but no need in having to do those right up front. Uh, of course, you always have the option if you do want to do that. Do I have to pay for a license for each computer? Uh, no, this is a site license, which means it covers all of your machines. Um, something uh, to add on, uh, if you have one screen that's, uh, let's say one station mainly rings up GIFs, you can have them look at one menu and then one is kind of more of a general, they can look at a, a different menu. So you can customize that as well. Is this useful for a bookstore or just good for cafe? Uh, actually, it's good for either. Uh, so if you have a cafe, it works great for that. If you have just a bookstore, uh, it is great for that because you can ring up all those items like pencils and pass alongs and, and gifts. You can create buttons for all of those uh, to help ring up those items. So it's great for either environment. Can I still scan my barcodes or enter in uh, the department sales? Yes, you still have all the functioning, uh, all the functions of the traditional point of sale, uh, just with all the new functions. Uh, this system is really easy. Uh, if you use a lot of volunteers, um, training new frontliners, uh, they can literally walk up and be able to use the system. It does not take a lot of training. Uh, can I get a live demo to see how this would work in my store? Uh, absolutely, it takes about five or 10 minutes to do a live demo. Uh, so if you want to see a live demo of that, absolutely. Give us a call, email us, and we can do that. Uh, should I purchase this right now? Uh, absolutely. Uh, great feature. 
Um, just been tremendous. Had a, a lot of great feedback from our stores on, that are using this. Uh, it just makes the, the point of sale program so much easier to use. Uh, very intuitive. Again, take advantage of this. Um, right now, we are running a promotion. If you reference this video, uh, you can get a discount of $500. So this software normally costs $9.95. Uh, if, again, if you reference this video, uh, it will give you a discount of $500. Uh, so you can get that software added onto your program uh, for $495. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please give us a call. 1-800-997-6724, option one. Or you can email us, sales at bsmgr.com. Thank you and have a blessed day.